Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetRief.com and today we are going to do the quick unboxing and full review of the Carbon Titanium S99. This is a budget segment Android device which runs on Android KitKat which is the latest version as of now available and this is a carbon phone which comes at an affordable price point of approximately 7000 rupees. This is how the phone looks like as you can see. It looks great. The display looks good as well. It is an IPS LCD panel so it looks great in terms of wing angles. You can see the display from almost any angle without any issues. The build quality of the phone is also very good. You have plastic which is being used at the back side. It is glossy in nature. It will get the fingerprints and scratches very easily. But again it gives you a very fine grip as well when you hold this device in one hand. Because it is a 4 inch display, pretty good to be used with one hand. The one hand usage of the device is also good. The weight of the device is also very light. It is not a very heavy phone. It is quite a good one handed usage candy bar phone you can say. So looks good in terms of the build quality and the kind of finishing and the material which has been used is also good. However, when we take a look over the touch capacity buttons, they do have backlit LEDs as well and they are within the body of the phone, not within the display. You have the metallic earpiece over there. On the top, you have 3.5mm audio jack. On this side, you have the volume rocker, which is a plastic button finished in chrome. Looks great. At the bottom, you can see that we have primary microphone hole over there and we have a little indent to remove the back cover. We have the micro USB port for data syncing and charging on this side. We have the power and sleep key on the top. And again, here we have the 5 megapixel rear camera. And we will tell you about it more. We have LED flash as well. We have the loudspeaker over there. And if I remove the back cover, I can show you the phone from the back side. So this is how it looks like from the back side. We have the SIM card slot 1, the SIM card slot 2. Both of them will accept normal size SIM card. We have micro SD card slot support over there. We have the loudspeaker, which is this one. And here we have the battery. The battery on this device is again a 1400 mAh battery, which is pretty okay to be used with uh, this phone because again, the display size is not too great and it will give you around one day of battery backup with moderate usage. In case you play games a lot, then in that case, you will not get one day of battery backup on this phone. So let's take a look what we have inside the package. We have already unboxed the phone. So let me just show you what we get inside the package apart from the phone. You get this silicon cover a case kind of a, a protective case which they call so you have a silicon case which comes within the package apart from this if we take a look over the other contents we have the micro usb cable the data syncing and charging cable we have the charger over there and the charger output current is going to be 650 milliampere hour it is not one ampere of charger which you will get it is going to be a 650 milliampere charger and this is how the headphones will look like these are the in-ear headphones again the sound quality is just okay not too great this is how the module will look like for the mic they do have a button to pick the call but there is no volume controls on this particular module as far as earphones are concerned we have a user manual and a carbon warranty card and service center list inside the package and here we have another document which is ROHS declaration as you can see over there which includes what kind of material which has been there on the phone and this is something which I have not seen on other phones anyways so these are all the things which we have in the package and uh, let's take a look over the phone now and let me just keep the package aside for a while let me just get rid of all these things okay so here we have the phone and this is the protective case which you can apply over the phone in order to protect it. You do have a proper cutout for the camera, you do have proper cutout for the micro USB port, loudspeaker, headphone jack and the indent over there for the volume locker and the power and sleep key so that you can access all these buttons. So let's take a look over the phone now. So the phone as I told you it looks great in terms of build quality it is very good to be used with one handed usage the display is also very nice when it comes to the notification center i can show you the same this is how it looks like it is stock android no customization here we have all the toggles for the settings and other things including wi-fi bluetooth location you can turn on and turn off let me just access settings and show you what we have as far as version of android is concerned so you have android 4.4 as as of now on this device which is displayed uh, it is not displaying the correct version of Android, but it is running KitKat. It should be 4.4.2, I suppose, and we will just confirm that later. Apart from this, if we take a look over the update option, you do have software update enabled on this device with over the air. 
and let's take a look over the storage on the storage front this device again has 4 gb of internal storage out of which around 0.89 is available for installing application when it comes to the user available it is 1.68 out of which 1.54 is available where you can actually store the application picture videos and other data as well and we do have the option of changing the default write disk that means you can if select the preferred install location once you have an sd card you can also select the sd card as the default write disk and you can actually install application from the sd card apart from this if we take a look over the brightness we do not have embed light sensor on this device that means automatic brightness is not going to be supported you will need to control that manually we do have support for live wallpapers static wallpapers and video wallpapers are also supported let's take a look over the other things when we talk about tethering options you do have that supported so tethering wi-fi hotspot option is there on this device usb tethering and bluetooth tethering is also supported when we talk about location access you do have location access as well and this device does support gps navigation with the help of assisted gps which we have and apart from this we have already explored almost all the settings which we wanted to we do have printing supported on this device schedule power on and power off is also supported let's take a look over the phone dialer now so this is how the phone dialer look like and again on the phone dialer uh, we do have the option of making a video call so video call can be done on this device directly from the phone dialer this is how the messaging application look like and once we open a new message this is how it will look like the messaging application is again stock android nothing new in this case and again we do not have content input typing supported but keyboard keys are pretty smaller in size you might face some problem while typing on this device but you will get used to it and you also get a pop-up whenever you press any alphabet on the keyboard so again typing is going to be slightly difficult especially in case you have thick fingers otherwise there is no problem with typing on this device you can always type in landscape mode as well in case you face any problem but we did not face any problem these are the application which will come pre-installed you have amazon application some trial version games a lot of blotware actually come pre-installed on this device we have application from money control news and weather we have nova 3 a trial version application game and then we have quick office which will come pre-installed Savan is also there then you have google related application which will come pre-installed a lot of applications are actually coming pre-installed these are the widgets again widgets are the kind of basic one but we do have cc cleaner or you can say clean master which comes pre-installed which is from cc cleaner which will allow you to give a memory boost to this particular device when it comes to application and you do have an app manager with which you can actually uh, down uninstall the application which you don't need so you can uninstall application which come pre-installed on this device so these are all the things which you can do let's take a look over the camera ui and i will sh just take a photo from this device so here we have the subject over there and when it comes to the camera the camera is 5 megapixel but it is a fixed focus camera i can take a photo right now daylight photos from this device has came out to be pretty good i can show you those photos as well i can just take this one without lights so we have taken two photos and i can show you both of them one by one again uh, let me just show you this one so this one has been taken with light and the other one was kind of shaky i will just take this again these are some of the shots which i have taken in daylight and again in daylight i can see that the photos come out to be good but again the details are kind of missing as you can see you cannot see the details in these photos but again they are looking good especially the photos which we have taken in daylight are looking good this is another one which we have taken in daylight so again the rear camera is not too great but it can give you decent shots let me just show you the view from the front camera as well and here we go to the front camera so this is how the front camera view will look like again it is a vga camera not a great camera for video chat but you can do decent quality of video chat not too great either and the details are going to be missing in the video chat especially in case you would like to do a video chat from the front camera you do have panorama mode supported beautification mode is also there hdr mode is right now disabled but you can enable it you can also record high definition videos from this device and when it comes to the high definition videos we will upload a video sample most probably you can record high definition video at 720p but not at 30 frames per second from the rear camera on this device now when it comes to otg support let me just connect the flash drive onto this device and show you whether it supports otg or not so we have just connected the flash drive and it has not detected the same that means otg is definitely not supported on this device 
now taking a look over the hardware configuration of this phone let me just show you the system information we have the titanium s99 which is the model number of this device we have got armb7 processor clocked at clocked at 1.3 gigahertz which is a quad core cpu mediatek 6582 chipset is this and then we have 418 to 800 which is the resolution and then we have mali 400 mp gpu on this device and when it comes to the sensor we have accelerometer and proximity sensor we do not have ambient light sensor on this device and we do not have magnetic field sensor also on this device let's take a look over multi-touch and see how much touch points does it support so it supports only two point multi-touch score which we have got on ninamark is 63.0 fps but again this device is pretty okay for gaming uh, you can play high definition games as well on this device uh, we have played games like Frontline Commando D-Day, uh, Modern Combat 4 and some other games as well but this device does have a memory issue so you may not be able to install the application uh, on the phone memory but you do have the option of changing the default write disk that means you can actually install applications on the SD card. The score which we have got on NT2 is 17260 which is again a decent score for a device like this and it does perform pretty good in day to day usage without any issues so now we are playing a youtube video from our channel and this is a high definition video which is being played at what resolution high quality not at high definition because of the display and again this is how it looks like when it comes to the wing angles the wing angles are okay not too great not too bad either you can see the display from different angles without much of an issue the overall loudness of the sound from the loudspeaker is pretty okay not too loud but this is the loudest which we can hear as of now and it is actually placed at the back side over there so if you place the device like this on a table the sound will get muffled or blocked as well at times so this is how it will go further as far as loudspeaker is concerned again the video is playing in full screen so there is no problem with that but I can see some black bars on the top as well as at the bottom. It is not exactly full screen video which we see on this device as of now. And again this device is capable of playing high definition videos as well. So that's all from us as far as the quick unboxing and quick review of the Carbon Titanium S99. This looks like a decent device for the price it is being offered you can easily buy this device for a price approximately five to six thousand in rupees and again it is a pretty decent phone at that particular price however there are too many options as of now in the market so do let us know if you have any confusion about which phone to choose this is one decent phone which you can go for camera is again not too great but again the overall build quality the form factor of the phone and the display of the phone is something which is good enough on this one so do let us know if you have any specific question for this device i would love to help you you can like this video this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you